bin. in. I think my mic is now working. Hopefully. I have no clue. I It didn't show me my mic for a second, so I'm not too certain if I'm actually, if it's actually working. Could have just been my face going, hi, how you doing? <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck, I've never been back here before. It's like me just trying to find my way around any city. Yeah, I think what we're going to do... If I'm not mistaken, what we should do is that we're going to go find... I want to say we're going to go to the uh, dance club. And we're going to make sure that one person doesn't stay here. For Christ's sake, look, I found Kent Allen Ryan. Are totally awesome. It just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cute or care what you look like to be a cool girl. <laughs> so, where is Kent? Who's. Hmm. 
How about... I know a good way. The bottom of the abandoned hospital. So we dealt with her by giving her to, I believe, Pisha. So now she's gonna fucking, now she's gonna die down there, which is fine. But I also have to find that one guy. Good evening to you all. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go to find him. I think he's just in a casual location. I think he's in one of the uh, apartment complexes. I think it's in the apartment elm. It's not in 1997. It's fucking 2004. There's a 70 year difference, fucko. <laughs> I keep like telling you that it reminds me a lot of like Cyberpunk just because the weird things I could do with it. My set of augments, I'm a fucking vampire. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where... Where is the Empire Apartments? So the Nocturne Theater is there. I just have to go around the corner. Yeah, just have to go around the corner for it. Yeah, somehow they put Cyberpunk on uh, on the Xbox original. Don't know how they did it. But instead of cy of cyborgs, you're a fucking vampire. Weird way to go around it, but I appreciate it. Okay, it's not the Empire. I have to go to the fucking skyline. I hope this guy isn't still mad with me. Because the last time I did this, I think the like I think I snuck out in the back and this guy tried to fucking murder me. Yeah, he didn't see that. He didn't see that at all. Yeah. But hey, it's fine. Is this that one guy's apartment or someone else's dude he may be mad at me now but he ain't gonna get in he's not gonna figure it out I've already gone up the elevator he can't follow me anywhere oh shit oh hi how you doing bud hospital in my crew it was a joke. They're all waiting for you in the hospital basement. This is a joke? <laughs> a joke! A joke, right? <laughs> oh, real funny. Oh, you've got me good. <laughs> I'm going to make those people very mad. I don't think he has, like, a 2002 bow system. Did, it, uh, did he? Wait a minute. I'm fucking curious. Oh, but I did not see his emails. It's a weird password. I I heart haunted LA fanboy McGee. Haunted LA is like the greatest show ever. Oh, I forgot this guy's like fucking ah, uh, what the fuck's his name? Zach Bagans or Baggins, however you say his name. It's like the greatest show ever. I totally am going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the, the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. <laughs> That's just fucked. I don't know why. Like, it's just like, why the fuck would a ghost have that? <laughs> I, dude, if your password's ghost nut, fuck it. Yo, this ghost, that one ghost is only good for fucking nowadays. He knew that we had to wash our hands now. I still don't, but hey, it's up. Shit, you suck. Angry guy from Strong Opinions. Haunted LA, my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, 
which there ain't. There's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf would be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even... It's not even as if we were real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. Huh. Ah, hate mail. Listen, it's always been ahead of its time. I talk about this all the time. Fucking vampire is really ahead. Hold on. I'm trying to think. Up. Coming shows. Show 17. So I played at a hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. They'll say the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patients to serve. Show 18. I think uh, Vampire 2077 is coming out next year. Hopefully. There's a cemetery in the Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Okay. Ah, this guy's dead. I killed him. I'm gonna go meet a fucking vampire that just ate it. Ate the whole body. Can we talk about this guy's fucking decor? He's got books on books on books. And neon signs. For 2004, that's pretty fucking good. I was wondering what the fuck that was for a second. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> he stacks like a TikTok. Dude, TikTokers don't even know what the fuck a book is. If I I know what a fucking book is, they don't. They just know a phone. Okay, so I think we have to go see Pisha, if I'm not mistaken. Solve the patty problem, report back to Skel uh, Skelter. Go with the reporter, go to find P Pisha. Pisha. Okay. No. Did, did that hooker have a fucking guy's voice? Wait a minute. The fuck? Man, I can't jump on fucking cars. This is upsetting. All I want is to just jump on cars and live my fucking life like I'm in cyberpunk. It's like I just easily, like, just keep talking about cyberpunk, but I'm just like, yeah, that's vampire. That's how it is. Okay. If I can go down this fucking ladder. There we go. Hi, Pisha. How you doing? You eat well? The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. What about the woman? That girl you sent to me. I've grown used to masquerading as one of them and seeking something suitably feeble enough to cull from the herd. That's the first time I've had one delivered. Hmm. A vampire that eats... Uh, well, so. About the items you want. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One I believe may be in one of the Yeah, she's got like <laughs> she's got next level fucking eyes. I believe to be in the Giovanni's. She could see that I'm lying. I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in the museum. The fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. Sorry to drink. Uh, and the other. It's used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morto. Should you find I'm sorry. I don't fuck is. I don't speak that shit. Or they will make sure you never have another. No, she doesn't have high street cred. She just steals shit. <laughs> no, she's hitting a fucking fat twelve. Yeah, if I find it, I'll bring it by. Wait, did she? <gasps> I didn't know I could eat that body. That was fucking nuts. Whoops. 
Whoops! Fucking Cyberpunk's gonna get me killed. I'm so used to hitting F on everything now, and I'm just like, oh, let's hit fucking E! <laughs> Let's hit fucking F on this guy and just eat the fucking body. Cool. Fate was sealed the moment he I didn't expect to do that shit. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, I get it. I, I have another woman. I get it. See, preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, an integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death. There would be no motivation to accomplish anything. I can't believe I Only fucked that up. Would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. About the items you're looking for. I get it, I get it, I know. Any other one? I get it. I know, if I find it, I'll bring it by. Now, I won't eat your buddy here. Because I'm fucking out. I've done it before, I don't want to do it again. That was not fucking good. <laughs> I totally fucked that up. I can't believe that shit. Yeah, so just so I can see myself fucking scream in agony going, fuck, I can't believe I did that. Alright, what am I leveling up here? Research and persuasion? Yeah, we can go with that. We can easily get more research. Do I have a book that I could read? I can't use, can't use. This guy's a photo of an Osiratu. Okay. If I could level up cool, I would. But fucking stealth in this game sucks. I'll be honest, like, Cyberpunk... Like, if you could say a Cyberpunk is, like, a bit rough. So it's It's got good stealth. This is not. I think I need this. Don't need... Well, okay, I can't keep that. Okay, so what do I need to go to? We must want you to persuade Boris so that she won't have to pay her late fee anymore. He is in the penthouse level of the Empire Arms Hotel. Okay. We might as well head the... Did I just see that? I just saw a fucking, like, a body just, just, just scoot across the landscape. It disappeared in one of these fucking buildings. God damn it. Okay, I think... It's near the skyline is where the apartment is. Or the empire is. So we can go back, talk to Skelter. We might as well take out the plague, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, the fucking meme, Andre, is 7 out of 10. So come on. Get with it. What's up? Uh, took care of that patty problem for you. Ghouls ain't nothing but trouble if you ask me. It's a weakness. Listen, Nick. Th this is modded. And it was the only way to make this work is to mod it, so don't talk to me about that. Okay. Well, that was that. Pure weakness, plain and simple. Do what I did for the good of the masquerade. Later, Skelter. Listen, you think Cyberpunk's a fucking unfinished game? Talk about this one. God, this one's unfinished. And it's beloved by the community, so fuck you. <laughs> because I think the guy is back here. Regions ask you to take care of the epidemic, put an end. He has suggested you speak to the Anarchs. Last round to get more information. I think I already talked to the Anarchs. Yeah, MGS5 was unfinished, but come on. You can't talk about that game. That game is not, uh... Not nearly as cash money. Where the fuck am I? Why am I supposed to... I forget. I think it's this one. Oh, the blood. I 
think it's over this way? Yeah, okay, it is. Yeah. I gotta do this for tin can built. Be safe here before I fucking die. <laughs> Plague Schmeg. Okay. Just to make sure. Oh my god, I can't believe they did this. Hey, what's going on? You got a name or something? Oh, canker. Ah, so you say. Yeah, interesting. Preach on, brother. The doors have been opened. The seal's broken. And the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the night. Circle hell. <laughs> he did his head. Dude, he loves it. <laughs> he is a tier three. Come on. Why you gotta do a man like that? Come on, man. He's just he's just eating bodies. He's just, just living his fucking life. I sort of knows, but I like the sound of it. Brotherhood of the ninth circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come. Join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> Uh, why are you feeding on the homeless? Weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. The this guy is like, if I work hard enough, I can smell her feet. Please. Sounds cool. Can I join up? Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. That's Rowan Akadowns. That's Kazuhira Miller. Wait a minute. Damn, here I thought we were going to be friends. Oh, well, it's your funeral. Aw, oh, bitch. Shit. Maybe if I... Whoo! Oh, this is not gonna end well. Not for me. Shit. I need to heal. You're not gonna get the fucking best of me, cut! I swear to God, <laughs> you will not win this battle. Fuck! Oh, this is not gonna end well. Ooh, this is not going well. Okay, got him. <laughs> that was, uh, well, that was actually rather bad. Hi, right, Chunk. How you doing up there? Enjoy your time in the sun, the blood. Oh my god! Hey, get the fuck out of here! 
And my only question is, do I have enough money to pay for a hooker? Because I need some blood. That was like worse than any cyber psycho ever. Luckily, because I'm a vampire, I'll just eat the fuck out of rats. Let me eat my fucking rats. That's me. I am the rat king. I forgot, am I supposed to go down this? I should probably save just in case. I, I can't remember if I'm supposed to go down this. Hey, I cleared it! <laughs> I love how all the rats, every time I eat them, they're just like, No! Stop! Okay, my health is back to normal and I have pretty good amount of blood. I, that same... Okay. No, that goes deeper. I shouldn't go down. Listen, rats are only here for my amusement and my enter en entertainment. And so much so they need to eat them. So, okay, so we took care of the plague bearer. Cheese and diapers? Wait, why the fuck would they need diapers? I can understand the cheese, but what the fuck about the second part? This doesn't make sense to me, Andre. I get that it's a sewer, but what does it fucking mean? <laughs> yeah, eat all the rats to fight a vampire. And his name is Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Fuck it. Play Bear's dead. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. I have watched Ratatouille. It's just been a long time. I don't remember shit. Uh, I'll start looking for the rest. Sh shut the fuck up, Danz Danzel. You look awful the second game. See you later. I'm always, like, afraid that I'm going to actually hit F and just start feeding on some fucker. Oh, Robert Thorne. He hates puppies. Okay, so... We defeated the play bearer. Uh, I think we could technically talk to Strauss and get something from him. Or we can go and fight the plague bearer. The the yeah, the second plague bearer, which is not a fun fight. It is definitely not a fucking fun fight. I just realized I failed two missions because I wanted to have Jeanette be the character. So Let's go to the Empire Hotel. That will let me some cash, and I can actually get, um, I think it's like half the cut of whatever happened to the bar. That's some easy money. I still have to remember if it's out this way. Because, okay, we could easily just do all these, but I could be supremely underleveled. Or, I could end up going to the... I want to say I can go to somewhere, and it would be a lot easier to do that. How much cash do I even have? 160? 
It's not enough. Yeah, so we have to go to Empire Arm. I, I fucking I saw it again. I saw some fucker go inside the fucking Empire, but what <laughs> fucking appeared? What the fuck? Turns out Cyberpunk was a virus. And that's what you get. <laughs> you just get like weird glitches in other games. Yes? May I help you? Not right now, see you. He's a fucking tool. Alright. Penthouse? I think it's on the sixth. I should probably save. Where the fuck is Johnny? Johnny is me. Okay. There we go. Yeah, well, can you imagine like fucking Keanu Reeves in this fucking game? He appears out of nowhere and he's like, what's up? I'm V, motherfucker. I'm both of them. I don't have the blood buff for it. This is what I get. Hospital started seeing a dramatic increase in the amount of patients with severe respiratory illness, and many doctors say they may be ill-equipped to handle the surging number of new cases. The <gasps> oh! I just want the book. I just want your book. No, stay away. What is the what is the book? Uh, uh, research of at least six. What the fuck? Come on, out, fucko. Oh god! Oh god! Oh hi! Oh shit! Oh shit! Get me out of here! No! No! Shit! Ah! This is what I get. This is this is what I get. Did not deserve that. Do I even have what's my research? Fuck it, it's not six? Ah, oh, shit. Can't open that. What about this one? Nine fuck. Honestly, I won't. I I I probably deserve a lot of this. Coming to get you, fucker. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Can't drag the body though. That's that's a crying shame. I forgot where I'm supposed to go here. <gasps> How you doing, bud? Oh! That fucking noise. That... It's like... Can I... Do I even... Shit, I don't. I was gonna, like, rustle up a fucking bottle and just... And just, like, show you the fucking sound. <laughs> just because that would have been so fucking nuts. Okay, we are going to go back indoors and uh, find another way around. Never mind, this is just the toilet. I'm going back out. Dude, when you tell me Hitman Blood Money hammer kills, I think about that fucking, that sound of just like the hammer just in the fucking back of their heads. 
It's so fucked. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? I'm not doing that for right now. Just the toilets? Damn it. Who puts a toilet in their own fucking room? This is just nothing. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, game. <gasps> you don't see shit, buddy? You don't see shit? Hmm, okay, okay. Don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I wonder, can I talk to him? Hey, bud. I stand at ease. Who the hell are you? I have a private message for Boris from his lady friend. You give me a message, I take to him. I can't. But it's important. He'll be angry if he doesn't get it, and I will blame you. Very well. I want to take that fucking thing out the wall. Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Venus, let me discuss something with you. Is that right? It's easier without your goon hovering over me. Why would I allow that? <laughs> Listen, my persuasion is high as fuck. I am allowed to get into private places. This could be embarrassing for you. I'm looking out for you, Boris. Okay, okay. It is a god demon. Very well. Happy? I spit it out. It is cool. Uh, okay. Venus wants the debt wiped, and she wants you out of her life. You will call off this debt. You want to. Very well. Tovarish. You make your point. That is all. Tell Suri you are free to get nothing from me ever again. Thank you for understanding. I'm going to risk it. Hold up a minute. Yo, check out this fucking computer, dude. That shit's like fucking ancient. But I love it. It's great. Oh, yes, yeah, it's perfectly okay in there. See you later. Okay, so I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan, Arthur. We're gonna do. Call the elevator. We're gonna run into that room, steal that book, and get out. See you later. See you later. Fucking see you later. That could have been fucking awful. I'll be honest here. Yeah, no need to worry about that. May I help? See you later. That way up. All right, now we can go get fucking money. Hey, not cheat. I'm just, I'm just quick, quick as shit. I am speed. 
be the I am Grace. They'll never find me anywhere in this place. Hey, Venus. There you are. Finished yet? Let's talk in your office. Talk in your fucking office. Fine, I just said that. I might try to play as her in Cyberpunk. See if I can. See if I can create her character. Boris. Dead. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? So now, I can actually gain a lot of money from this chick. She'll give me, like, if I wait long enough, I get 500. If I wait long, or short enough, I get 250. I get clean cash. You'll see me every now and then. Don't worry. I found out you could actually dance in places in, in Cyberpunk too, so that's... Am I going the right way? I think I just jump over the banister when I can. What this email? Slave, huh? Cool. Tonight, Larry, thought we might get, to get together tonight if it pleases you, Mr. Ooh. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. But, you know what I do like? That's enough of that. Get out of the fucking... Get away! Get out! I love how they're all like, Yeah, mayhem, bro. So all you gotta do is get the mayhem. It's like, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Get away from me. Nice night out, huh? Alright, so... Boris is dead. Do the play bearers. We gotta do the traffic business. Now, those two are fucking annoying. Those two are the most annoying fucking missions in this game. Only because traffic is like, it's easy to a degree, but if you're not melee centric, like how I was with the Bruja, it's gonna fucking suck. So basically, we're just gonna continue with the main story because I can easily do that, clean wipe through it, get out of there as fast as I can. At least, that's the hope. But that's just a theory, hopefully. How you doing, boys? Okay, you got nothing to say to me. See you later. Have fun at Chernobyl. How you doing, Chunk? You go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. And then make my way down to your clean center and... What the... Yeah, keep your hands off my Bavarian cream! <laughs> oh, okay, Chunk. Uh, you, you have fun. You, you have fun with whatever the fuck you're watching? I certainly hope you, like, that wasn't like an innuendo. I certainly hope he was actually talking about, like, a Bavarian cream. Hey, you know, bud. The Anarch community, my regards.
I did. I said nothing important. Uh, uncharacteristic of them. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the den. Uh, I'm ready to go. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Okay. I wish you would just take me there. Just so I didn't have to fucking walk so far. I get it. I'm a fucking vampire. I could walk. But shut the fuck up. I don't want to walk. I just want to stand around and do nothing. And yeah, he's over here just like, ah, fuck it, just take the taxi. We're going to give it free. Take me to Santa Monica. I'm going to try to think of, like, what I could do here. Okay, so we have to go to the beach. I, I wonder is, if the pier is actually open now. Well, don't be too wrapped up. Cyberpunk's going to eat you away there, Nick. You're gonna have like 300 hours in it before any of us actually do. Even hit our first. Aw, oh, sick. I can go farther into the pier. I don't think there's anything too going farther into the pier, but I could just walk around. Ah, yes, the calming sea breeze. I know nothing about California besides that there's a pier and a location, and that's it. And there's also L.A., but that's, you know, neither here nor there. I'm not going to be the person that's just like, oh, would you look at that? There's L.A. Mark's Mercurio. You, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment without hesitate. Well, you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that feeling. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Need some equipment for the trip. You ain't got shit, Mercurio. I'll take some clock camera though. Okay. See you later, Mercurio. How you doing, eh? Just pass some bot. You might have saved me, but I can't look at you. I want to throw some guys to throw it with his teeth. See you later. Okay, the Elizabeth Dane. I almost spell. I almost forgot how to spell boats. I'll be honest with you. I almost forgot how to spell boats. I almost got like I thought it was thought that both was B O T E's.
go, lady, over here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacob, said, if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. You didn't tell me this was a formal affair. What kind of wood stick? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? What are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Our clothes shouldn't be an issue. They do come off, you know. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. Fine, I'll be simple for the sake of the story. All right, Cook. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin. But you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography brainchild. Where do I go? Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of Understood. Don't to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password Lighthouse. Is lighthouse. lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? All right, let's go. Get me in there. Okay. Is it this? No, I need to get inside the records room. I think. Okay, so I have to get to this one. It is... I need to... Unlock records. Deck cams on. Sorry, deck cams on. Start engines. Reports status log. Yeah, I definitely don't know that one. Okay, now I gotta get the fuck out of here. Because that's all I actually need to do is just see the 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 thing. Okay, so that should be fine with the prince. At least that's what I'm hoping. This is, I think, how I did it last time, but I didn't talk to the guy. I ended up having to kill a few people. That's the first time I've actually done that stealthily. So that's good. That's good to see. Progress. Best ways I could describe it. Okay, so I'm at 10. Do that. What can I do with 4?
Let's put this into my sneaking. Okay, so now that we're done with the Elizabeth Dane, we can go back to the Prince. And the Prince will then give me, uh, I believe will give me another task. But he'll definitely be happy I didn't kill any police officers. Which I've never done that before. Last time I had to kill a few. I did hear someone go, who's there? But... Hold up. San Jose Crown Sarcophagus, three crates, pottery, tablets, one box identified. Copy of the initial police report for the Elizabeth Dane, signed by members of the USCG, NCIS, and LAHP. Agencies displayed strong evidence of amazing physical violence. Not a single body has been found. No survivors have been located, and there are no signs of large scale theft. I don't have six for this. That's upsetting. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do here, per se. Where to? Just drive, take me to downtown. Downtown! I definitely want to make it to Hollywood. That's my favorite location in this game. Oops. Hey, wait, I know you! Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please, don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? So, fun fact. Voice actress for Heather Poe is actually the same voice actress as the female character of uh, Fallout 4. The female protagonist, sorry. I think her name is Nora, canonically? Yeah, she she is the voice of Nora. The other person, I'm trying to think of, like, is like, oh, like, if we're gonna go off other tidbit, V, female V's voice actor is actually the same voice actress for Makoto in Persona 5. So, <laughs> I've got a bunch of weird shit like that. I want to help you in my life, and I feel like, okay... It's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. I can feel this way. I mean, of course. I uh, would love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want... Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around, it's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. And to Heather, what did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. So, Heather is basically, I think she's like a one-time money thing for you. She also, every time you come back after, I think, a certain amount of time, you you can feed off her using your blood. And you could do a lot of things to help her. I'm actually going to try something in my playthrough where before I actually told her to get away out of here and she nothing happened to her. But I'm very curious about what happens if you don't do that. Oops. And you write up. Uh, you know, I got a break in an hour and a half of, of crusty of crusty creams in the back. But on your way out, how's the job, security man? Yeah, you know, I'm to keep the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hardworking, decent folk. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. Latroy's got nothing to worry about. Sure, he appreciates. What you're here to protect him. See you, chunk. Hey, you chunk. Okay. Is that my character? Ooh. I've said all I need to for now.
Jesus, look at the caves. Alright, how's my boys doing? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone aboard was massacred. There weren't any survivors. The Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Hand prints, hand prints indicate it was open from within. Open. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in. The parade of malingering molly couples filing out. Yeah, who, who were they? Those were the Primogen. This city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. I was called to a goddamn shunet? I want action! This is ghoul work! Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? Understood. What should I do? Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. All right. So, I think I've mentioned this in last last time, if not the other the first time. A Malkavian uh, in their clan is basically a clan of insane vampires. If you are sired into the clan, you basically become mentally insane, mentally unchecked. Um, there will be things where you can, like, you can kind of suss out what you say, and if you play in this game, the same thing happens, where, let's say, for example, if someone's hurt, you could say the rats shall feast on your corpse, or you would have some form of, of very weirdly nuanced things to say, and everyone who hears you as a, as a Malkavian is just like, ah, shit, a Malkavian? Fuck. It's very interesting. Okay, so we have Fallen Pestilence. The uh, damsel wants you to bring down another Play Bear. Paul Skyline Apartments. Okay, well, we're going to do the Play Bear mission and hopefully get that one pretty squared away. We could also do the other, we could also do the Larry mission, which is, it's fine, it's a fine mission. It's just hard when you have someone who doesn't have that much combat skill. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, how you doing, bud? Don't mind me, not doing anything. Uh, two. We had to figure out who... Ah, would you look at that tiling? What a weird thing for tiling. I, I talk about that with like Halo. I should do a stream of Halo because I fucking love playing through Halo too. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the Indian Pond location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Okay. Forgot what that one was. Oh, that was Mud Hunt. Darwin Milton to meet someone in an unknown location across the street from the bar. Okay. I know what that is. It's across the street from the last round, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that didn't go towards Paul, but that did go towards someone.
Let's take the elevator to be safe. Who's coughing up there? Did I? Shit, I forgot. I thought that would stay unlocked. Take me to Fort. How about take me to five? We gotta find Paul, and I don't remember where the fuck he is. Oh shit. Damn, she got fucking COVID. Just died. Just fucking. He didn't even tell shit. Okay, twelve oh three is what she said. Damn, this boy got CD stacked on CD. Shame the guy died. He's got some good taste, at least in my book. Okay, so she said twelve. Yeah, 12.03. Yeah, 12.03. That's what it was. Oh. Is that not her, her room? Is it upstairs? Is it 6th? Oh, it was. Okay. Open it up. Hannah! It's your knight in shining armor. Come take your trash can and dump it the fuck out. And take your chair and uh, replace it for you. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Hi. Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> A friend of Paul's. He just wanted to come and check up on you. Okay. Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Yeah, yeah, sure. He's not a pretty sick, Hannah. <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I... I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. I can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I I don't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Where did you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of Paul's <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I I uh I saw her a few days ago. Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She uh she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. Did she tell you her name? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I couldn't seem to get it out of my head. Was there anything else strange about her? Anything at all? Yeah. I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women. But I remember feeling so attracted to her. 
thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> and the next thing that's clear is when I woke up the next morning, <coughs> it hadn't been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, two of the friends who, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> Where'd you meet her, Hannah? Where's this Baldock? room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Paul's taking a turn. Nah, you're probably next. <laughs> I didn't want to tell her, but it looks like I had to. Rest in, rest in peace, bitch. See ya. Oh my god. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's in it? Money envelope. $200. Oh, <laughs> coaching. Give me that fucking paper. Ew. Alright, well. Let's, uh, let's figure out what the fuck this was. Wait a minute. This looks like a standard appointment book. Arthur Kilpatrick. Meet Arthur. His place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs in the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play the lockdown of the women's prison. This guy's... What? Oh my god. She fucked Arthur Kilpatrick. What the fuck? Not Arthur, not my boy. Jesus. Vandal C. 730 at the blood bank. Bring, pli bring pliers and a Blowtorch? What the fuck kind of sick shit is Vandal into? David Hatter. Room 413 at the Lucky Star in Hollywood. He likes that weird umbrella and water... Well, umbrella water balloon thing. Ew. Simon M McGilligan. Downstairs in his room. God, I hate that guy. Jisbel Locke. New client. Responded to my ad in the newspaper. She was a, she has a suite in the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her her voice. I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. Paul Anderson, and honest to God, date. I can't believe you asked me out. I'm so excited. Damn. Really like Romeo and Juliet in this bitch. She, she can't, should I just take that? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, boy. Take me down. I forget my, if I could fit my fat ass through the goddamn vent. Okay, so this is Paul's apartment. What about the third floor? Okay, it's just locked. Am I able to check shit in here? What's in here? What? Oh, shit. It's in the trash can. I knew it. Buzz email. Safe. F fuck. Hacking at six. What's my hacking at? Five! Shit! Okay, I'm hacking with wits, but I have to be at eight or nine. Wait, can I even get the skill up that high? I wonder what's in that fucking safe. I'll be honest here. Because I don't know. Actually, I should just take the this way because oh shit, someone died here. Didn't know that. Um, because we can get into that one room, but I need to know the lot, the door combination, which I think the guy down here actually has. Apartment notes. AP four. Vacant. Five? 
APT2 is a slob. Really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to, wanted to watch much. Peep? Oh, okay. Hey, Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage, and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Email. Sorry, email. Oh, shit. Whoops. How about, okay. A apartment notes. APT1. APT2. Wait, what was APT1? Seven we go again. He's on TV, so odds are footage of this place will be worth something eventually. Gotta keep an eye on him. APT5. APT6. Well, mind something hot is always going down in here, and there's something is, is usually Hannah herself. Ooh. T4, ABT3. The rich broad is pretty hot. On the password on her door is 9648. 9648. It's 9648. I think that was 4 or 2? 9648. Yep. Got it. Go, come on. No, no. You know. 9648. Shit, that's not the right one. Six, four, eight. Hey, what's up, stankies? I just realized I've already opened the store. God damn it. Well, this one's open now, at least, so that's something. Can you imagine I like, I, like, hit the ground floor, and the guy goes, I knew you were back there, fucko, pulls out the gun and just shoots me. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? See later, peep. Whenever I think about like the word peep, I think about that one song by I think it's Radiohead. It's like talking about how he's a creep. And his potential has pointed you in the the direction just by lock, possible link to the play bearer chain. She makes a residence of the Empire Arms. I think I have it written down where she was, too. Empire, Empire Hotel. Okay. Yep, this is the place. Yes? May I help you? Is there a guest named Jessica Locke? Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Give me a key, and later I'll give you some room service. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here is the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. You too. Damn. All right, let me go. Does this tell me where it is? Key to his oh, Fucking doesn't tell me where though. Let's go to five. Fuck it. Let's see. Go, go, mode. Okay. Okay, let's save here.
On to Jesse. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? I take it you're Jezebel Locke. Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Step it through my parlor. I think that's like a Buddha reference. I don't know. I don't remember. Sure, I mean, uh, you are hot, but I think I'd rather just kill you. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Hey, you're with, you're with one of the cats from the Brotherhood, right? Very cool. Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? I guess it sounds okay, but I think I'd rather just tear your head off. Holy shit, I'm fucking frenzying. Holy shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Okay, time out, time out. Give me a fu just give me a fucking second. Oh my god, you see your body fucking oh my god. Am I gonna win doing this? Oh my god. Taste my fucking god, bitch. Let's go. Come on. Yeah! Wait a minute. They're supposed to be dead. Ha ha! No, it means no. What does that mean? Brawl of two. Well, can I get Brawl to two? Yes, I can. We'll get Wits in a second, though. There. Now my brawl... I think my brawl's been increased to three. We have a flyer now. Writing this flyer reads, I'm enlightened. I am enlightened. Okay. Killed the second play bearer. Found a flyer at the strange symbol on it. You can go talk to Damsel about this. Okay, talk to Damsel, and I believe I could talk to Strauss, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, she kept her toilet nice and sparkly. What the fuck? They're all like, we heard shooting upstairs, and I'll be like, uh, no, you didn't. Was there something else? No, I'll see ya. See you later, bro. Aha! I am the, the the flawless one. I am reclaimer of my name. Let's go talk to Larry. Go get some shit for him. Baby girl! Baby girl. Hey, we don't know what kind. Buy him a 
Hatchum. We don't know what kind of bomb and hatch him. Uh, let me see. Sell that. Cancel that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. And I would like to buy the fire axe. So I'm Mac 10 ammo. Give me some of that Glock. Am a full fuck. All right, all right, we are stocked up, ready to lock. I think this is a Gen Three, if I'm not mistaken. All right, now we're ready to go to war. But if I'm not mistaken, okay, we can go talk to Damsel about this. We could also do that other mission. I fucking love the soundtrack, dude. I'm so happy I own the vinyl for it. This is where I think Mud Hut told us to go, or Mud Hunt. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yo, the fuck? Did you see it? The headless corpse? It's kind of hard to miss. Tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? The dead fella called him Muddy. So this guy, so this dead guy, Muddy. What were they doing here? Well, they was waiting on someone. They was going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves and find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Showed well, up? He wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? That killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. Well, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What do you oh, say? I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. Well, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. Well, just tore him apart. He did it real slow. It made the guy scream. You tell anyone that, that story. They'll lock you up forever. You should leave now. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. You better do. So this actually does continue a story path. If I'm, yeah, if, if, if that's true. I don't remember how to get up there though. Thought I'm to burn myself. There we go. So what is that item? Lucky Star Room Key. I think that's... I believe that that is an area in Hollywood. I kept thinking it was in Santa Monica. It's not in Santa Monica. It's actually somewhere else. Okay. We need to get research of six, and we need to get our computer up so we can find what's in that safe. While we're here, let's talk to Damsel. Damn 
Sorry, it sneezed, it snuck up on me. <laughs> About Paul, he's dead for a few days. It wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he's got to get over it. And are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's got to be found. Yeah, but love Paul. But love killed Paul. Look here. Keep it up. Got it. I'll be back. Do you know what the symbol on this flyer is? Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. I'll look for it. Hey, I, I always like feel bad when she's like, "Ugh, Cammy," like she just fucking hates me. All the way down. I said, "Hey." I think the plague area is to my right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's in here. Yeah, because that's the same symbol that we saw in the flyer. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Yes. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Bishop will see you upstairs. Yeah, so we had to get that flyer just to get to this location. Hey, D did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop. What are you talking about? You're new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned, and then you go up these um, these stairs up to the, the te temple. Temple? What goes on up there? I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. Said she saw things bad bad things yeah what did she see blood she said um b b blood everywhere she um she saw a few of the summoned to try to uh oh, to talk to them but they just just stared at her with these um these woo blank looks you know no one of them uh, started reaching for her and she she ran away Maybe the Brotherhood isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b b bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle. But I'm um, scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know I want to go home. Don't worry. You won't have to worry about the bishop anymore. So we can get blood from her, but I don't feel like doing that. Because we can always find blood in another location. Oh, hell yeah. Explode for me. Oh, yeah. Get fucked. Oh, hey, what's up? We're not leaving any of these fuckers alive.
Let's go, bitch. Give him a good old barking. Okay, we gotta drop down. Drop down again. We can feel on that rat too. Why don't we do that? It's not like I need the health, I just want the blood. Get pinged. Welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your leader of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned. Your of the Damned. To our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Nice days here on Earth. Talking about the Gehenna. Gehenna. Judgment Day. <coughs> the Apocalypse. Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rise. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What god watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no god who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become god. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the ninth circle. I think this is a thing on my lead. I'm gonna hit the road. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Sounds like a good idea. And now you've gotta piss me off. Oh my god, he fucking teabag. You're not gonna get me, you fucko. You can't win this fight. Okay, baby, you can't. Ah, Bishop. Ah, 
Son of a bitch. Yeah, I need to get blood. Fucking shit. I got him, holy fuck. Oh, that was too much. That was so fucking close. Oh my god. That was like down to the fucking wire on that one. I need to go like kill some like fucking old people, I guess. Old homeless people, I guess. Jesus Christ, though, that was fucking way... Do you see all my fucking health? Oh my god! It's way too fucking close. Cast your PC, that's a little bit late out for it. Yo, damn, so you got some fucking blood, bro. I'm feeling a bit washed up. Hey, Paul. Ugh, all the plague bearers are dead. You killed all of them? You. Huh. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Kin kindred are kind. I just wanted to help the community. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Tammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got to lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Wait, what if I'm said I'm sick at LaCroix and I want to join the anarchs? I don't know. You seem pretty tight with Nancy Pants up there. I'm playing him. The nine showed me the way. I want to be here with you guys. Stay. You really want to help us out? Stay close to LaCroix. Do what you best. Play ball. Keep an eye on him for us. If you hear anything spicy, you come talk to me. Don't advertise. For all anyone in that tower will know, you're still a worthless boot looking Tammy Goo girl. Okay. I'll keep my affiliations a secret. I'll humor LaCroix for now. Cool. With someone on the inside, we should be able to eject his candy ass a whole lot sooner. Keep us conscious, Tammy. Will do. All right, well, we did well. I think we could also go talk to Strauss, if I'm not mistaken. I think he'll give us something that'll help us. I think it's like a Tremere artifact, if anything. So let's go talk to Strauss. And I think we'll be done for the night. We did quite a few, quite a few things. We, we didn't fully finish out this location. Um, there's still roughly one more. Oh, and that does remind me. I can get my wits up. So now hacking is at six, and we can go get that safe open. So yeah, we'll do, we'll open up that safe, and we'll go talk to Strauss. I said, hi, you come another way. I've got some hell to pay. Hey, Strauss. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. Solve that problem with the epidemic. Impressive young. It was a blood cult headed by a vampire called called Bishop Vic. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, if you do. So desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. 
I'll take the item you talked about. A wise choice, new mate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. You have done well. Your status is much raised here at the Chantry. Perhaps you might have a place here with us sometime in the future. Hope so. Cool, I'm out of here, Max. See you later. So, um, the thing about that item, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it upgrades your blood buff. Yeah, so if, let's say, for example, I'm going to lockpick something, and I just tap it on, and it just goes, and like I open up my door, um, this will give me twice that time so I could maybe unlock two things, or maybe have double the damage or, or fight as long as I can. It's a good skill. It's a good thing to have. But Pisha actually gives you better items. Like, I'll be honest with that. Pisha does tend to give better items for your character. I wish I could go up to this location. But it's locked. Okay, so... Epidemic problems are over. We now have the bloodlust... Or the blood buff duration up. We have a few more locations we can go to. But we're going to go to the place right by the Empire. We probably also talk to Venus to get us some cash too. I think I've gone too far. Yep. Let me check. Yeah, so traffic. And we can't continue either of these. Yeah, we just got one more side quest and then on to the main story, which, by the way, this location is actually pretty interesting. Um, but we're going to save that for next stream because I'm feeling tired. But we need to go unlock the safe first before anything else. Like I said it before, I have it on vinyl, and I also have it on MP3. It's good shit. Money, right? I've got your cut right here. Thanks. Well, less than I expected, but eh, what can you say, Lovey? What can you do? Alright, take me to the Skyline Apartments. I think it's 9436, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck it! the wrong one again, didn't I? I got so well to pay. Do 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 do. Let's keep it on the beat. Do 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 do. Okay. Now let's go unlock that safe. Jewels. Oh, I didn't expect that to be the unlock. Gold ring, silver ring, fancy ring, fancy watch. What? Someone actually comes in here? What?
Oh, he's not going to allow me to come back in here. I made it out. Cool. <laughs> I was hoping to get some fucking blood off him, but... Good for the gross. That's the best way I can describe it. Alright, well, we made up with a good haul of cash. How much do we have in wallet? 289! Never mind, we didn't make a good haul of cash. Never mind, I'm, fucking, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Well, uh, that is our save. Now let's save this as... Larry. Don't ask me questions. I am brain dead. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Had a little bit, had a couple of laughs, had a little bit of fun. Um, but, uh, sadly it is time for me to go. Um, I'm feeling tired and I'm sorry if you can't see my eyes all too well because I keep seeing the glare from my fucking glasses. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to head off to bed and, uh, yeah, thank you for showing up and, uh, see you guys next time.